Youth housing advocates are in Canberra today asking for funds to help build more than 2,000 homes for young people. Campaigners say almost 40,000 children and young people came to them for assistance in the 2023 financial year, with close to half remaining homeless afterwards. Kate Colvin is the CEO of Homelessness Australia and joins us now. Very good to see you, Kate. So why is homelessness such a big problem for young people? So young people do end up leaving homes often because of family violence or ne neglect or abuse in the homes and then end up in um, a private rental market that is completely unaffordable for them. So they do end up at homelessness services and the problem that homelessness services face is that there's not housing options that young people can afford either in the private rental market but it's actually also very difficult to get them into social housing. So we need dedicated tenancies for young people. So of the people then who come to you for help, how many are you able to help and how do you help them? So look, uh, we know that each year 15,000 young people come to homelessness services specifically needing long-term housing and um, they're the, um, and so 15,000 young people get turned away without getting the, the housing that they need. And so look, the kinds of support that young people need is both safe housing, but it's also um, support to, to stick with education, to make all the developmental leaps that young people make at that age because you're talking about 16, 17 year olds who don't have um, family support that they can rely on to help um, navigate health appointments, help navigate access to Centrelink, all of the sort of bureaucracy that you have to navigate when you're um, transitioning to independence. That's uh, support that young people might need to get from a youth homelessness worker. All right. So you're in Canberra today then, Kate. What's your message for the federal government? So the federal government have already set aside a billion dollars to invest in social housing and the national housing infrastructure facility and what we're calling on them to do is allocate those resources specifically to youth tenancies and the reason why is because other forms, other funding for social housing is not um, ending up in youth tenancies because young people have such low incomes on youth allowance, they have a much lower income than you would have on job seeker or a, um, or a pension. And so um, when community housing providers go to build housing for young people, their very low incomes mean that they wouldn't be able to maintain um, paying back the loans that are needed to build that housing. So you need to create a funding stream specifically for, for young people's housing. And that's what we're asking the government to do. Kate Colvin, thank you. Thank you.